Greetings all, lovely to see you all again. Apologies for the wait, we're back and better than ever. We're gonna be looking at Kalmar's 12 gauge to bat. Let's take a look. Excited, we just got to talk about the tuning, which is C sharp standard, which goes C sharp, F sharp, B, E, G sharp, and then another C sharp at the bottom. So get yourself in tune and we'll get started. Okay, so let's have a look at that little pre solo riff. We actually need eight of these in a row, and there's a slight variation on the last one. Let's go through it slowly. I want to start from fifth fret of the second string and play from five to eight. And then I want to jump to seven of the first string and then back up to eight of the second. Okay? And then work into this little arpeggio here. So what I'm doing here is I'm playing five of the first string, seven of the second, and then seven of the third. After that, I just want to jump back down to seven of the second string. So we're just sort of working through two little arpeggio shapes here. And as I said before, we're just going to do exactly the same thing eight times in a row. We follow that up with this. So what I've got at the end of that, I'm playing seven on the first string, open, and then seven, eight. And I want to jump back to five of the first string. I'm going to play five, open, five, eight. Five, open, five, eight. So it's nearly the same thing, you're just doing seven on the first group, and five on the, on the second group. So back to back. Let's put the two arpeggios in front of that, and then as I said, we'll repeat it eight times. You notice that when I finish the arpeggio, I'm sort of just rolling that ring finger to get back to the first. Now after we've done that eight times, there's a slight variation at the end, we're gonna do this last little chunk. that bit twice. So I'll play the eighth group for you nice and slow and then we'll just follow that up uh, with a big squeal. Now at the end of that we've just got this. Now they might use a whammy but if you're lame like me, and many of my videos you've seen before, I'm a lame guy that doesn't get a whammy. I may get one eventually. But anyway, I'm on ninth fret on the third string and just doing a really slow bend with that squeal, I'm kind of, uh, if you've got a 24 fret guitar, I'm kind of slightly after um, that second pick up there. Alright, so let's put the eighth um, group together nice and slow with the squeal at the end, and then we'll try it all one more time with the tabs. One more time with the tabs. Okay, so we want to do this eight times. Okay, so we've just finished the pre-solo and we're going to work through the first section of the solo now from the big sweep arpeggio with the tap. So I want to start from 
uh, 19 of the 5th string. We're going to play just a straight kind of minor arpeggio. If you're in standard tuning, um, I guess this would be just an E minor arpeggio. So I'm playing 19 of the 5th, 17 of the 4th, 16 of the 3rd. But I'm going to jump to 17 of the 2nd. And then do a hammer on from 15 to 19 on the 1st. Okay? Then at the end of that, I want to tap 24. Okay, so as I finish that tap, I want to pull off back to that 1915. So let's try the whole thing a little bit slower. Okay, and then from there to finish that up, edge you off. I do just a very, very mini sweeper if you want to. You can do a down pick and then a back pick. A forward and a back. So I'm just playing 17 of the second and then hammering 15 to 19 of the first. So from the tap, shred around here. So what I'm doing here to start off is I'm going 2019-17 on the first and 2019-17 on the second. Okay, and then from that I jump back to 15 of the second string. I'm going to play 15-19, oh, sorry, 15-17-19 and then 15-17-19 on the first. So let's start from that 20 of the first and we're going to work back that little, I guess, Aeolian shape into this sort of, uh, I guess, sort of the Mixolydian shape over there. Let's put the sweet tap at the start and then we'll finish off the whole thing. Now when we finish that part and works into the straight down that diatonic run, we're actually going to double up on 19th fret of the first string. I'll show you what, what I mean. We're actually going to hit that 19th fret twice between the crossover of those two ideas. So let's start this descending pattern. I'm going to play 19, 17, 15 on the first and also on the second. And then I work down the scale even more. I play 17, 16, 14 on the third and 17, 16, 14 on the fourth. Just a straight diatonic scale. I'm going to work to this. So what I'm doing here, I play 14 twice and then do a hammer on from 16 and then pull off back to the 14. And at the end of that, I want to play 12, 11. That's the whole section. Let's play it one more time and then we'll do a slowly with the tabs. One more time with the tabs. second section. Now this is that pull off part. Now what I want to do is leave out the pull offs, learn it as a simple sort of melody idea and then we'll add in the pull offs to make it a bit more exciting later. So making it simple, can we start from 5 of the second string? We're going to go 5, 4, 5. And I jump to 7 and I go 7, 5, 7, still on the second string. And then 8, 7, 8. Thus far. Group goes 10, 8, 7. Thus far. Okay, now the next bit goes 12, 10, 8. And then I go 13, 12, 10. And then 12, 10, 8 again. So all together with this little group here. together with the starting part now. Okay, now what we're going to do now for every single note that I played then, we're going to do a pull off to an open note. So you're going to have basically really, really fast triplets or sex tuplets. <laughs> sex. Anyway, anyway, really fast groups of six or really fast groups of three. So it's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. So with those pull-offs. So all I'm doing in between
which when every single note I'm just playing an open and pull off on the second string. So let's do that phrase that we had again. <laughs> again with the pull-offs. At the end of that, I slide from 10 on the 3rd to 12, and then do a vibrato on 11 of the 3rd string. So 10 to 12 as a slide on the 3rd, and then a slight vibrato on the 11th. So all together. Okay, let's have a look at the third section. We're just going to start off with a pretty straight diatonic run. I'm going to start from 14 of the fourth string, and we're going to go 14, 16, 17, and the same on the third. Okay, then working my way up the scale, continuing on with that idea, I want to jump to an octave up from 17 of the second, exactly the same group of notes. So I'm going to play 17, 19, 20, and then 17, 19, 20 from the second to the first. All together. Okay, and then I want to jump to 22, and we're going to go 22, 20, 19 on the, on the first string, and then on the second. So all together. At the end of that little chunk, I do a slight uh, vibrato note on 21 of the third and then 19 of the third, relatively slow comparatively to the other notes we've had. Okay, then after that we'll work into these little arpeggio ideas. I guess if we were in standard tuning, uh, we'd be looking at sort of a high E minor shape. It's a relatively predictable arpeggio if you're well versed in the uh, in the subject matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from 21 of the third string, then 20 of the second, and then I do a hammer on from 19 to 24, back to 19 as a pull off on the first string, and then I'm jumping back to 20 of the second. So there's six notes or two triplets. Helps have a bit more distortion with that angry hammer on being anyway. And as I said, we're working in triplets. So what I want to do here is work through this little diminished shape. I'm starting from 20 of the third string, 19 of the second, and then a hammer on from 17 to 20 on the first. I want to pull that 20 off back to the 17, and then jump back up to 19 of the second. So all together. Okay, then I'm going to jump back to that E minor shape again, exactly the same. And then I'm going to borrow that diminished shape, but start from 23 of the third string. So I'm going to 23, uh, 22 of the second, and then hammer on from what I believe to be 20 to 23, and a pull off back to 20 on the first string. Now that's the only one that isn't a triplet. There's only five notes in that arpeggio, so that you've got enough time to jump to the fourth section. So we'll just do those arpeggios and then we'll do the whole section. Alright, let's try the whole section and then we'll do it one more time with these apps. second string and then jump to 15 of the third. It's a bit sort of accidentally weird sounding. Then I've got a hammer on into a pull off 12, 14, 12 on the second and then I want to play 14 again and pull off to 12. So we go. So all together. Then I want to jump back to 15 of the third. So thus far. Okay, now I do a very similar phrase to the hammer on pull off phrase I did before, but I'm going to go 12, 15, 12, 
the hammer on to a pull off and then an extra 15 with the pull off. So we'll go. Go on, jump up to 15 of the third. So that recent chunk. All together. Okay, now we have a very similar idea once again, but from 12 to 17. So I'm going 12, 17, 12 as a hammer on into a pull off, an extra 17 with the pull off, and then once again returning to that 15 at the end. All together. At the end of that, I just want to do a hammer on 12, 16, 12 as a hammer on to a pull off. So all, all of it thus far. Okay, I'm working on the next part. Let's slow this down. I've got to pull off from 20 to 17 on the second. Then I land on 21 of the third string. That's a bit strange because we're doubling up on some notes. Notice that those notes are the same. Let's have a cool effect when you play it fast. So it's going 20, 17, 21 of the third. And then I want to go 19, sorry, 17, 19, 17 is a hammer on until pull off on the second. And I want to hit the 19 again and pull off like we had in that previous little chart. So we go. After that second pull off, I want to finish on 20 of the third. So the whole part uh, thus far from this section. What I'm going to do to finish that off is I'm going to finish with a hammer on until pull off. Uh, 17, 20, and then back to the 17 of the second. So all together. Okay, and then I just work into a little run and an arpeggio. So what I'm doing here, starting from 17 to the second, is 17, 19, 20, and the same on the first. Okay, and then I jump all the way up to 22 of the first string and play 22, 20, and then 19. with that A minor arpeggio we had way back in section three. I'm doing a pull off from 24 to 19, and then playing 20 of the second, and then 21 of the third. Let's try it all one more time, and we'll do it slowly with the tabs. Let's do it one more time with the tabs. of the song. One thing I should mention is that it's all harmonized. I've chosen to do the lower harmony. The higher one is just a third above with a couple of fourth intervals here and there. So I'm going to take a solo from the start. I'm going to start from nine of the third. I'm going to hit that twice. And I'm going to play seven of the second and then pull off from eight to seven. Okay, and then I'm going to resolve that little chunk to nine of the third. Okay, now the next little chunk that follows is nearly exactly the same thing but there's only one nine at the start. So nice and slow, nine of the third, seven, and then eight, seven is a pull off on the second, and then back to nine of the third. So back to back. I reckon to this phrase. So what I'm doing here is I'm playing two sevens and then playing nine, 11 on the third. When I get to the 11, I want to pull off back to the 9 and then just play 7 as a regular note. Okay, and then what I follow that with is this. So what I do here is I play 7 and then 8, 7 as a pull off on the 2nd and then play 9, 7 on the 3rd. All together. So all together. chunk that follows that is very similar to the first at the start. It's actually identical. We've got the two nines, the seven, eight, seven pull off on the second string. And resolving that to the nine of the third, and then it goes. So what I'm doing here is I'm playing nine of the third, then eight, seven on the second. Plucking every note 
and then play 9 7 on the third. At the end of that, I want to play 7 to 9 as a slide with the pointer, and then vibrato it a little bit when I get to there. So, all together, that last little chunk. Okay, after I've vibrated a smidge on that 9, I want to change to my ring finger and do a pull off from 7 to, sorry, 9 to 7, and then jump to 9 of the floor. So that last chunk goes. That's essentially the whole outro idea, but it will do that whole section twice. So let's do it together, and then we'll do it again one more time with the tabs. Remember that we repeat this all twice. And that was the solo to 12 gauge by Cal Mouth. Hope you guys enjoy that. I'll catch you real soon.